Yo, yo, my name is Nick, and I like the snow. I run things at Big Bear Weather and Mo. From the peaks to the valleys, I'm in the know. Bringing you the forecast wherever you go. Oh, yeah, did I mention that I have a site? BigBearWeatherMore.com. Oh, baby, that's right. Always make sure you tune into the live and like my videos and subscribe. <laughs>
by the way, I wanted to give a shout out to the Outpost, Big Bear Outpost. It's in Fawnskin. It's a little resort. Place looks amazing, looks awesome. I got to talk to one, one of the owners. I've checked the place out quite a bit. I've always wanted to stay there. Looks incredible. It gets you away from the main tourist hub, but at the same time, you're not far away. And you're in one of the most beautiful parts of the whole town. It's called the Outpost. And I, I mean, seriously, check it out, you guys. Check it out online. I'll have all the information down, down below. There are three owners, Jolene, Alyssa, and Alyssa's husband. I can't recall his name, but yeah, guys, I, as, as always, I would never steer any of you guys wrong. This place uh, just looks, looks awesome, absolutely awesome. Prices are not that bad either. Weekdays, it's around 150 per night, and uh, weekends, maybe like, 60 or 70 bucks more but I'm telling you guys since it's on that side of town they aren't charging people what all these other places charge so again check out the Big Bear Outpost looks like a really cute place um, and great ownership kind ownership you cannot go wrong there again the info will be put down below so thank you guys and uh let me know what you think of the outpost, y'all. Only the best for you guys. That's all I'm going to refer as the best. tickets 72 hours in advance from the time you plan on going skiing you'll save a bunch of money rather than going directly to the ticket counter at the ski resorts the day of skiing just order them 72 hours in advance at getboards.com and you'll save some money boom how you like me now surprised 
if we get to Big Bear and it's not even raining. For our snowpack, that's a good thing. Or I should say the ski resort snowpack. This Big Bear doesn't really have much of a snowpack. But yeah, we are in the middle of these clouds right now. Coming down earlier today, guys, it was bumper to bumper traffic the whole entire way. The whole entire way. And then the freeways were all messed up. Again, I had to drive all the way to Long Beach. Just crazy. I was in the LBC. President's Day to everybody.
76 degrees as we climb. guys should come up have a little more fun less people makes things easier to travel around town come on up enjoy the snowfall when it happens to see a little snow on the sides of the road right there and it's gonna get more and more of course the higher we go but we're just hitting the snow line from the last storm that are sitting around just waiting for it to convert. These guys are gonna have to wait a while though because it's only 44 degrees. We've got a ways to go, but I guarantee you in Big Bear, it's probably in the 30s right now. Trying to snow. All right, more of a snowscape now. I love it. It takes a few minutes to drive drive up to the snow. It's, it's beautiful. I want all of you to come up here. And usually off to the right here is my favorite view of this whole drive. But clearly you can't see anything. incredible view from 6,000 feet up.
guys, we're about to enter part of Running Springs in just a moment. Right here, Running Springs. We're here, man. Once we get into Big Bear, I think that's that's where we're, when we're going to shut this off, right when we cross over the Big Bear Dam. I just wanted you guys to see what it's like driving up in the middle of a storm. 42 degrees and crumbling. Oh yes, it's crumbling. It's falling down. The temperature is dropping. disparage any of these gas stations up here guys but either fill up at the bottom of the mountain which is what I always suggest when you're coming up here during a storm I don't care if you still have three quarters of a tank just fill it up but if you get up here and you need gas and you can make it into Big Bear try to wait until you get into Big Bear and again not trying to disparage anybody I'm just trying to save you guys some money so when you get into Big Bear the first gas station you'll hit is a Chevron way more expensive than any other gas station in Big Bear. So just keep on driving and about a block and a half further, you'll have another gas station. A Valero, I believe. And then a 76 station and then 7-Eleven's gas station. traffic was the whole way down when I was coming down just like this bumper to bumper miserable
was the snowiest part of the mountain range, but I've been educated by you guys. It's not. is I'm thinking you know when we get into Big Bear the Boulder Bay from the Big Bear Dam to Boulder Bay is the snowiest snowiest area in in that valley and then the snowiest neighborhood would be Moon Ridge Upper Moon Ridge in in Moon Ridge in Big Bear Place you can pay to go snow sledding and tubing right over here. There's people there right now having a little fun. You turn right at this next little right hand turn. And I believe it's called Snow Drift. Yep, Snow Drift Snow Tubing Park. talking about me I'm talking about these people should be getting over to let the faster traffic by but that's okay it is what it is here's one of Big Bear Mountains resorts ski resorts called Snow Valley to the right hand side once we get closer we'll point the camera over there
temperature didn't drop like I thought it would, it's still 41 degrees over here. circle that's your last stretch before you get to Big Bear Valley guys and we're still climbing in elevation I believe we get up to about 71 or 7200 feet on the little Arctic circle basically the summit on this road right here 7112 feet lake view point it's all downhill from here On this for maybe another 12 to 15 minutes until we get to the Big Bear Dam. You got to really be careful on this road though we get lots of rock slides on this road so you got to really keep your eyes focused on the road.
it's so foggy up here. Maybe we'll keep the video going just through the first part of entering Big Bear because I know everyone loves those rock formations and all the snow on them. So I think we'll do that. We're almost there. that it's only taken us right now we're at 41 minutes from the bottom not bad not bad Looks like they're trying to send everyone down Highway 38 to the left to get to the ski resorts to keep traffic flowing a bit. I like that idea. It's not that much further out of your way, guys. It's really not. Maybe at most a mile or so. It's not. It's it's not out of the way. But as I said, we're going to keep it rolling for a couple more minutes just till we get through these beautiful rock formations. Oh, I'm home. I'm so happy to be home.
this side. Huge potholes. Holy schmolies. Look at that one right there. Look at these guys right here. I'm telling you guys, those are going to give you a really bad day. You got to pay close attention. I'm hoping if we do get a little break in the weather in the next week or two that they'll do something about it. Oops, big one. Woo. hoping we might get lucky and come into some snow falling up here. Really hoping, but unfortunately, you guys, I call this the ski resort killer. But again, thankfully, we have such incredible snow grooming crews up there. Guys, these guys do so much to make our snow maintain a nice consistency, a nice quality. They do a wonderful job. So much props to those folks. Here's one of the most people's favorite hikes in all of Big Bear. It's called the Castle Rock Hike. You would start right here where that Welcome to North or South Shore sign is and hike basically straight up for about a mile. Oh, bad potholes. Oh, they're bad and you'll get to Castle Rock. I think it's maybe three quarters of a mile, something like that, very steep. But it's definitely worth it for the beautiful view that you will eventually get from up there. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed driving into the storm, driving into the clouds and everything, just awesome, I love it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That's what's going on today on the 19th of February 2020 pothole 2024 and again you're looking at the new rap star from the beginning of the video don't forget so talk to you guys later thank you for everything have a wonderful rest of your day of course go to bigbearweatherandmore.com to get your merch I think that should be clear from the opening part of the video so I'll talk to you guys later We'll probably do another video when we transition to snow and we will be doing a live feed. I love you all. I'll talk to you later. Peace out.